एवरीवन आई होप यू आर डूइंग वेल इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व प्रॉब्लम थ्री फ्रॉम चैप्टर वन ऑफ सॉलिड स्टेट फिजिक्स बाय एम ए वहाब दिस प्रॉब्लम इज रिलेटेड टू प्लान डेंसिटीज ऑफ बी सी सी प्लान ओके वी हैव ऑलरेडी डन अ वीडियो वेर वी हैव डिराइव दो फॉर्मूलाज फॉर थ्री ऑफ द बेसिक प्लान द मोस्ट फ्रिक्वेंट प्लान विच आर वन जीरो जीरो वन वन जीरो एंड वन 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 ओके वी ऑलरेडी नो दैट ओके सो वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिराइव दो फॉर्मूलाज This is a problem related to that. Let's see the statement. We you'll see it. Okay. Okay. Here is the problem. Calculate the number of atoms per unit area in one zero zero one one zero and triple one plane of a BCC crystal with a lattice parameter of two point five angstrom. So what we are given is a lattice parameter. We are given with this lattice parameter of a BCC crystal. Okay. It's a BCC crystal. and we have to find out number of atoms per unit area now they have not clearly used the word planar density but you can see here uh, the units of planar density are mentioned here we know the formula of planar density is number of atoms per unit area okay and they have used that definition here as something that you have to calculate so this is planar density actually and you can see in problem 29 as well we, they haven't used the word planar density directly but they have used the definition so you can understand and in problem 29 it was fcc structure and we have done this problem and you can find this problem in solid state physics by m wahab solutions playlist yes there is a separate playlist for that particular book where i have uploaded and added all of the problems and solutions from different chapters from this as well we have done all of these problems you can find them in that playlist i'll link it in the comment section you can easily find it and if you if you are confused still you can ask me in comment section i'll guide you okay so yeah we have to find out the planar density for these three planes in a bcc crystal with this lattice param lattice parameter so let's start here we are given the lattice parameter let's say the planar density for 100 plane is represented by this sign then we have 110 plane let's say the planar density for 110 is this and the planar density for triple 1 is this okay uh, let's move towards the solution we know that the planar density i'll directly quote those results because deriving all of those results is irrelevant in this question okay it's like you have to use the formula you don't need to derive it again and again again and again in all the problems okay there are some things that you have to remember when they are frequently used in your syllabus so we know that the uh, planar density planar density for 100 110 and 111 plan in bcc structure is given by let's quote those results here for 100 it's 1 over a square for 110 for 100 it's 1 over a square, a square. Uh, um sigma 110 it's under root 2 by a square fcc structure have the same one for this case sigma 111 that is equals to 1 over under root 3 a square so we have simply these formulas and we have to plug this value right into these expressions one by one to get the required result let's do this okay let me do this putting first of all values in expression number 1 so here it is the expression number 1 it's 1 over a squared 1 over where is a here it is angstrom means 10 to the power minus 10 meter so we'll put 2.5 multiply 10 to the power minus 10 first convert the given data into si units so that it may become easier for you to put them directly into the formulas and i just forgot to do that i usually do it like as first 
priority to convert them into SI units. So let us calculate it using the calculator and I'll get back to you. The result is 1.6 multiplied 10 to the power 19 atoms per meter square. Okay. And here they have used uh, 10 to the power 18, the two numbers here. So what we can do is uh, 1.6 multiplied by, we can separate 110 power and it's like that now. Okay. Just to match the answer in the book so that you people may not say that. Oh, now you have to read wrong. No. <laughs> Sometimes we have different form that doesn't matter if the method is, you know, correct. So it doesn't matter, actually. 1.6 multiplied by 10 is 16 and 10 to the power 18 atoms per meter squared. So this is 100. Zero zero. These are the number of atoms per unit area for 100 zero zero plane in BCC structure. Um, now, putting values values in 2, which is sigma 100, zero zero, oh sorry, sorry, sigma 110 equals under root 2 by a square. So, what we have to do is simply 1 over a square is this, okay, multiply it, 1 over a square, we already know what it is, 1 over a square is 16 multiplied 10 to the power 18. Okay, multiply under root 2, that will give you the result for atoms per meter square. And this gives you 22.627 multiplied by 10 to the power 18 per atoms per meter square. Okay, it's 22.63 if we round it off. So, round it off. Yes. This is the planar density for 110 plan. Now, thirdly, we have, okay, okay, we need some page. Putting values, values in three, and we have sigma one, one, one. Okay, that is one over under root three, a squared. It's one over a squared, okay into 1 over under root 3. So 1 over a square we already know is 16 multiplied by 10 to the power 18 atoms per meter squared divided by under root 3. So divide them and what we get is 9.24 multiplied by 10 to the power 18 meter atoms per meter square. Yeah this is the result yeah that's the result that we wanted and here if you compare the result for the three densities you got this is atoms per meter square and for 100 you got um, what you got is 16 multiplied by 10 to the power 18 you can see here in FCC the problem that we have that we have done in 29 we saw that triple one plane was more closely packed which means it has the highest planar density and here we can see that this plane instead 110 has the greatest density while in FCC it had the least density okay so that's totally opposite <laughs> that's uh, interesting you know comparison and that's all for the solution we got the results and if you have any questions you can ask me if you want the solutions to other problems and you can't find them let me know i'll guide you and i have made so many playlists related to solid state physics and related to different books since i have you know followed six different books related to solid state physics and i have and I have uploaded problems and solutions from those books, all of them. Okay. I have made a separate playlist for each of those books, problems and solutions. You can easily find them. Um, just go to my playlist section. You'll find out so many beautiful and convenient <laughs> playlists. If you are interested in conceptual videos, detailed derivations and 
mixed problems and solutions then you can definitely watch solid state physics 1 and solid state physics 2 playlists they are rich with the uh, which they are rich with such content goodbye thank you like share and subscribe and share with other people please 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 thank you goodbye